For the first time, man is about to set foot on the moon. This is the television camera that will record that historic event. Roger, TV circuit breakers in. And we're getting a picture on the TV. This was really a reach out into to nowhere. I mean, I mean, it was just beyond anything that anyone had ever considered. You okay. had a good picture, huh? This whole mission was now about television. Uh, there's a great deal of contrast in it, and uh, currently it's upside down on our monitor, but we can make out uh, a fair amount of detail. You've got speed, Apollo 7. When we finally launched uh, Apollo 7, um, uh, Wally Schirra uh, refused to turn on the camera. That was a time where the astronauts and many others were against television as a um, non-required, uh, non-scientific device that took up weight and power and had other things removed because of it. When he wouldn't turn on, we were pretty heartbroken. And within a couple hours, we heard that a command went up. It was a military command that you'll turn it on. It says, from that uh, lovely Apollo something. You guys should write it. Apollo room. High, High atop, atop everything. Something. High atop everything. They did turn on, it was very successful. The public got highly involved in excitement about this. A little closer, Wally. So keep those cards coming. Cards and letters coming in. Coming in, folks, it's loud and clear. Really such a device as the lunar TV camera, does one really exist? Well, judge for yourself, on my right, a monitor in which the signal from the actual lunar camera is being received. We will allow no redundancy, no second camera. So there's going to be one camera on the moon with one little wire going back. And that was it. Okay, would you verify the position uh, the uh, opening I ought to have on the camera? No one realizes that this camera was secret. And we put that tube in. And the requirement was we could never take a picture of the two because it showed the camera. They allowed us to talk about it, but our data was classified and everything else. And uh, just before Apollo 11, I received this notice from the Air Force that they de de declassified the whole thing. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Honeysuckle had a converter. They would convert signal signal Sydney. Parks didn't have a converter they would send what's called the slow scan TV down to Sydney where we had our guys with the converter. And then they would select the best source and send it out to Inelsat to come to California, to come to Houston. And it only took one guy with one patch to kill this whole event. Okay, I just checked uh, getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's, uh, that isn't collapsed too far. Most people don't know that little engineering model, and that's all it was ended up flying as the first camera on the moon. And I'm still not sure I got paid for it. Boy, look at those pictures. Wow. It's a little shadowy, but uh, he said he expected that in the shadow of the lunar module. The world just marveled at this right along with us, and we more or less made the whole world our, our partners in this thing by inviting people to be there, to share that with the world. Um, uh, at the foot of the ladder. We were watching it. Bill turned to me and he says, Pam, this has made it all worthwhile. Before then, he wasn't too sure. I'm going to step off the lamb now. And I became like everybody else, totally immersed in the fact there was a man walking on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yeah, we had some feeling that this was a worldwide event. I mean, you'd have to be an idiot not to know that. But how big it really had turned out to be, I learned that afterwards and thought, oh my gosh, thank goodness this thing worked. And then we celebrated all night. We, 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 had, uh, we had a party that took all night long. Beautiful view. Is that something? Magnificent sight out here.